Hello and welcome. To chemical distractions. Okay, today we're gonna be making a crystal that you all might be familiar with. That's right, today we're gonna be making the one, the only, rock candy. No, 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 click off. Uh, there's science and stuff, I swear. All right, all right, let me explain, let me explain. First thing we're gonna need is some sugar and we're gonna need some food coloring. Okay, so to start off, we're gonna need three parts sugar to one part water by volume. We can start by heating up the water and then slowly adding the sugar as we go. Once you get all the sugar dissolved, you're gonna to wanna to add some food coloring. Any color will do, it depends on the color crystals you want. I chose blue because, well, you know why I chose blue. So what's going on? How does this make rock candy? Well, to explain, we need to learn a thing or two about sugar and dissolving things. So to explain, when a glucose and a fructose molecule really love each other, they sort of um, do their thing, and then you get a sucrose molecule. And uh, anyways, th that's how sugar is made. So since we know sugar is sucrose, if we look up the solubility of sucrose on the internet, we get this nerd graph. And the nerd graph tells us that if we increase the heat, then we also increase the solubility of sugar. We increase the amount that we can fit into the water. According to this graph, this 100 milliliters of water should be able to hold 200 grams of sugar at room temperature. But if we increase the temperature to 100 degrees Celsius, or the boiling point of water, we can fit 500 grams in the same amount of water. So if we do some quick maths, it actually just so happens that it's pretty much exactly a ratio of three parts sugar to one part water by volume. So you could use three cups of sugar and one cup of water. Anyways, now that the water is at maximum capacity with the most amount of sugar that will fit in it, what happens if we cool it down? Well, if we cool it down, it looks for any excuse it can get to form the sugar crystals again. With lots of solutions in chemistry, you can just lower the temperature and the crystals will just form, but with sugar specifically, it is very hard to get the crystals to form, so we need some nucleation sites. Or in other words, we need some starting crystals for the new crystals to grow off of. To do that, we take some wet sticks and we dip them in some sugar and the sugar should start to stick to the sticks and then we put the sticks into the solution and ideally, the crystals should start to grow around the sticks. Now, this didn't happen. I'm, <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what happened. I think the crystals fell off of the sticks and they just sort of landed on the bottom and we grew crystals on the bottom, that's okay. Yeah, we didn't get a ton of crystals. We're gonna like pour it off here. But anyways, an important thing to notice here is that the crystals that we made are actually lighter than the color of the solution. That's because the crystals are a little more pure than the solution. That's because when the crystals slowly start to grow, it's more efficient for them to form a purer substance than it is for them to have all sorts of impurities in them. And we can use this in a lot of different ways in chemistry to purify different substances. But anyways, the final product is some nice colored crystals, and the fun thing about it is you can eat them. They just kind of taste like sugar, but ultimately you could probably add flavorings and stuff like that, and it's a fun process. So, thank you for watching, and if you like science videos like these, subscribe. And also, I recently opened a merch store, so if you like funny little gag videos like these, you can check out my latest release. It's uh, sort of a Breaking Bad meme. I was actually pleasantly surprised with the prices. You can get a sticker shipped to you for like $2. And also, special thanks to these guys. Especially you, uh... Joshua Davies. Yeah, uh, really appreciate all of the support. Thank you.